Good morning, rise and shine, rise and shine. I hope all of you are having a terrific day wherever you are. Look at this gorgeous tree. It's absolutely magnificent. I love, love, love the spring. It is beautiful. I love nature. I, I'm not sure when I started realizing how much I love being out and meditating and just walking and being with my thoughts and still until I started exercising and having to go outside and move but I was looking at this tree and just thinking how magnificent of a structure it is and it started with one seed just an acorn probably I don't know 30 40 50 years ago I'm not sure how long this tree has been here but it's absolutely gorgeous in its prime and um, it withstands so much in terms of um, you know storms and winds and just life um, and for many years it's been right here standing in the midst of storms and everything anyway just thought that just my thought for today that everything starts from a seed from an acorn and that seed germinates and it becomes this magnificent oak tree that um, has leaves and withstands the test of time and isn't that just the way we are as well as human beings you start off an acorn a seed with so much potential and then much much later on in life you bloom and you become all those attributes that God put um, in you at some point anyway so let me go back to my unmade face in the morning let's see if I can flip this camera yay it's Thursday it's been raining um, but that's not stopping me from being outdoors and walking. I said, I, I don't care. I'd rather be outside if it's bright and sunny or um, if the sun's out in the morning or it's light out. I am definitely going out regardless. I don't really care about the rain. I'll put on a raincoat and I'll go out instead of being on the treadmill. Good morning, everyone. So it's Thoughtful Thursday and I'm intentionally coming live on the page versus on the group. Hope Hub does have a group where I'm more likely to appear more than I do on the page because page, the page I'm usually here live on um, on Saturdays for the Beacon of Hope show. But I've been intentionally coming on the page because I know that um, <coughs> I have people on the page. And it's important to show up to the people who are on the page as well. So my thought uh, for today, Thursday, is courage. And the importance for us to have courage. Um, courage is something people really uh, fear. They fear it, but at the same time, a lot of people will tell you, just have courage and start that business. Just have courage and go back to school. Just have courage and stand up on the stage. Have courage and stand up and train and teach this class. Have courage and do whatever it is that is that blank thing that people think they can just tell you to have courage about. But to tell you the truth, especially in this season, I'm learning that courage is hard. Courage is absolutely terrifying. Courage feels like you're about to die. But guess what? In order for you to progress and move forward in your life, you have to have courage. And when I say courage, it doesn't mean that courage has to be perfect. Courage is mostly, and this is just from my life experience, courage is imperfect. Okay? So most of the times, most most of the times when you need to take that step of faith that requires that you be courageous it will be at a point when you're not ready and just by doing that courage that thing that you fear the most that requires the courage that's how you start to build the strength the resiliency whatever it is that you need in order to continue to do it so it's almost like in order to have courage you have to do you have to take action and in order to take action you have to be able to take that action even when it's imperfect to do so even if at that point you're thinking um, I'm not ready you're never gonna be ready most of us and I'm speaking for myself have analysis paralysis right you're always thinking I need to perfect this thing I need to read one more book I need to um, uh, search uh, you know talk to someone I need to get validation from so and so I need to go to Barnes and Noble and find books upon books about this subject before I implement what it is that I want to do 
but you're never ever gonna be ready take it from any business person any entrepreneur take it from anyone that's ever been successful in life that in order for them to be successful in order for them to achieve their breakthrough they had to have courage and that courage came in the um even when it was in, uh the circumstances were not perfect right so you just keep doing 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 <coughs> regardless of the imperfections and just take action and through that action you eventually um, hit your breakthrough so think about it the other thing that I'm thinking about it I'm thinking about today is how um, in life our tests you you take you take the test before you study so it's a little bit backwards it's not like school so think about whatever it is that you're doing now most things in life that uh, take you to the next level you have to have those lessons learned before you hit the breakthrough so it's important for you to understand that right now you may be in the midst of the of the of pain or a test right but after the test is when you look back in hindsight and then you figure out wow this taught me such and such so think about um is it einstein Think about any scientist, okay? Anyone that invented anything, the light bulb. How many trials did he have to do before he actually achieved breakthrough, right? There were so many tests and experiments before that person was able to have the breakthrough. So think about it. Whatever it is that you're being tested in right now, it doesn't mean that you need to quit. It just means that this is going to be a lesson learned that will eventually lead to your breakthrough. So, um... I think that's all I have for you today on this Thoughtful Thursday is think about the areas that you need to take courage and implement and take imperfect action. Take imperfect action. We're never ready. And by the way, when I speak on the Hope Hub, guess who I'm speaking to? I'm speaking to the Hope Hub Partners in Hope, the Hope Hub Nation, all of you who are here to find a daily dose of hope. But I'm also speaking to myself because as I speak to myself, I also become more self-aware about the areas that I need to do something and change my life, right? So I currently, right now, when I started this video, I wasn't sure what I was going to say. I knew I didn't have my points down. I knew it was going to be imperfect, but guess what? I took the action and I did it. And guess what? That word has gone out into the universe and someone's going to get something from it today. So go out, face whatever it is that you're facing, right? Have the courage to stand up and do what it is that you need to do today, right? And do it imperfectly because as you do it imperfectly, you will figure out um, the perfect way to do it. And really, there's really no perfect way to do it. Just do you. Do you. That's how I hedge. It's like whatever the outcome it was supposed to serve me in some way and give me some breakthrough in some area of my life. And you keep it moving, right? So God bless you. Share this video. Share the Hope Hub. Like, invite people to this page where we preach hope and inspire hope and ask people to join us on the journey of inspiring global hope. God bless you all. Be the acorn that God puts you out in this world to be. Be that seed that germinates and becomes a huge oak tree this uh, on today. And, you know, um, make it a great day. God bless. Bye-bye.